UT Austin football players say they were forced to stay on the field during the eyes of Texas to appease upset donors and fans, as reported by the Texas Tribune. They say Texas athletic officials in October told Longhorn football players they had to remain on the field post game for the eyes of Texas sing along with fans because donors were upset by athletes protesting the game day tradition. Now, Steel Great and former Horns DB Caden Stearns tweeted, my teammates and I got threatened by some alumni that we would have to find jobs outside of Texas if we did not participate. A Texas AD Chris Del Conte said he had not heard donors or alumni have threatened at job opportunities. Spurs have already said they will still require fans to wear face masks when they are not eating and to social distance, despite the governor opening up the state 100% and dropping the mask mandate starting next Wednesday. The Spurs will come back, will welcome back fans starting March the 12th at approximately 3,200 fans for now. Spurs Vice President and General Manager Casey Heverling walked Greg Simmons through what you can expect when you get to the AT&T Center. The first thing that we're asking every fan to do um, is to go ahead and download the Clear Health Pass app. It's free to download. Uh, you can enter your profile uh, information and then the day of the game, before you leave to come here, fill out your questionnaire on that app and then that will make for a much smoother transition um, here at the security and health screening checkpoint before you get into the arena. And by doing that, do you have to download this app? And if so, where do you download it from? Yeah, so you can go to your normal app store, um, whether you have Android or Apple iOS, uh, you'll search for the Clear Health Pass app. Uh, you download it, again, it's free. You fill out your information. Um, you you uh, do a few biometrics, take a selfie, and you're, you're ready to go for uh, game night. After getting cleared with the health and safety protocols, that includes a temperature check. Casey takes us through the next step, which includes a big change. You're really just going to approach our staff. Um, we're going to have uh, social distancing cues on the ground for uh, any lines that may form. Um, and the first thing you'll approach is, is our health screening, and you'll Hello, indicate. Sir. Welcome to the AT&T Center. I see you have your clear app available. May I take your temperature? Please. Okay. Thank you, sir. Go ahead Thank and you. Proceed. And so the next thing is uh, our, our typical security sure. checkpoint. Sure. Sure. And so we have two experiences for those that don't have bags. Um, we encourage you not to bring a bag if you don't have to, but we understand that's not possible. We do have a new bag policy. Um, it's a smaller uh, bag uh, measurement, six inches by eight inches. Reason being, uh, we can search it much quicker, more efficient, and with our new x-ray machines, also an MBA mandate, um, we can uh, search it in a touchless, safe, healthy way. Tonight, Casey will show us how the new Spurs app will work once you are inside the arena and what new facilities they have erected to make it a touchless experience, even to purchase food and beverage. Not to mention the numerous safety measures that are now in place that include new filtration systems by Germ Logic. Definitely have taken it up a notch. <laughs> they have, right? Yeah. Even right there with the screening, yeah. go through a, a detector thing instead of having to dig through the bag. It'll be nice to see some yeah. fans in the stands. That's, yeah, that's going to be fun. All right, Larry, thanks. You All right, SA Live is about to kick off for the day. We are outside because it is so beautiful out here just looking at the forecast that Katie just did. So you want to spend a lot more time on your deck and your patio, but how do you make it really, really special? Well, Valerie Reynolds from Chica Verde is here, and, um, you know, a lot of... We spend time out there. You got to make it as nice as possible, right? Yes. I think the philosophy is a porch, patio, your balcony, it's another room in your home. And you got to treat it that way. You got to give it some style and personality and make it very comfortable. And you can, you don't have to spend a fortune on it, right? Exactly. You can pick things up at a flea market. You can go to a rummage sale, estate sales, and you're going to have everything you need. All right, we've got some great tips on how to make your porch or patio another room in the house. Hey, maybe a little artwork out there as well. Painting with a twist is here, and no, I did not do that. I want to kind of finish it up a little bit. They've got some classes. They've got some really fun things to do. You can either do it at home on your porch or patio or head over there. We're going to be talking more about that. All right, how about the word free? Freebies for your birthday. We've got a list of things, maybe from movie tickets to some free food that you can get. And speaking of food, Elder E, Texas E's, pardon me, is coming up on Saturday. We've got a preview of one of the barbecue pit masters who is listed as one of the top ones in the United States. So David Elder is going to be talking to that barbecue master. And we've all played Monopoly. You get the family together. It lasts for hours and hours and hours. It's based on New York. How about San Antonio? They're thinking about making one about San Antonio. 
What would you put on the Monopoly board? What would be Boardwalk? What would be Park Place? Pass go, collect what? Breakfast tacos? Something like that? We want your ideas. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live in just a couple of minutes. Stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. San Antonio is getting its own Monopoly board. From now until March 17th, San Antonians can share locations that they would like to see on that board. Anything and everything from the Alamo City is up for consideration to be included in the game. Right now on KSET.com, we have the email you need to send your ideas to. Just search for this article under the local news tab. The possibilities are endless there. Oh, yeah. It could go on and on and on. Put the KSET tower there, the antenna. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, warm and breezy the next couple of days, even warmer and gusty at times Friday behind a cold front that will move through early in the day this weekend. A touch cooler, some more clouds, especially by Sunday next week. Getting warmer again, but very humid. So really enjoy the sunshine the next couple of days because it'll be out in full force, guys. All right. Remember last week, I think it was last week, Mike was at home and Fiona had all the food. So I guess they swapped. So now Mike is back downtown. He gets all the food and poor Fiona's at home. So She's scrounging through the refrigerator <laughs> trying to come up with a, that uh, recipe. Yeah, let's see what she comes up with. SA Live starts right now. Yeah, but the problem is we don't have food on the show today. But today on the show, we got something fantastic. How to make your outdoor patio into another living space for spring. And we are shaking things up with a thirsty Thursday with a bit of St. Patrick's Day inspiration. Sorry, I just had to do that one. Plus, we share a safe and creative spring break activity that is perfect for friends, dates, and get-togethers. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. As you just heard from David and Ursula, yeah, big news from the fast dealing property trading board game Monopoly. We're going to talk more about that in a moment. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mike Osterhage on this fantastic Thursday. And to my right is the one, the only. Can you hear me, Fiona? Fiona Gorstiza. I didn't oh, know what yes, you were going to say. Was, <laughs> I should have introduced you instead of you doing that. So, all right. Uh, yeah, Monopoly. How many games have you done with the family there? And they last for hours and hours, Fiona. Hours and hours. I mean, Monopoly is a classic. And of course, the world's most popular board game is set to immortalize, as you just saw, San Antonio and its landmarks. So what's your favorite uh, property to, to land on? Boardwalk, of course. Well, of course. I mean, you want the ones that are, you know, park place, you know, where you're going to make the money, right? That's exactly. the point. All right. but <laughs> you always have to make sure whoever is the banker is really honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. My brother used to always hide money under the table and all that stuff. But okay, so the question is, if they make one about, and they're planning on making one about San Antonio, what landmarks, what are the properties going to be? What are the, you know, where the railroads usually are? I wonder what those are going to be. Obviously, some of the streets you'd have... Uh, San Pedro and Commerce and, and Broadway and streets like that. What would you put on and there? A, you know, like what are going to be the things that you get to move, you know, on the board? Yeah. The, what the symbols would, would those be? Somebody you said know, the um, Alamo, maybe that the Tower of America is, I think, could be one. Um, a breakfast taco. You got to make one. A of breakfast that. taco. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the coyote. The, uh, there's <laughs> the first there's coyote. a a million things out there. Cowboy boots, probably something like that. So big question is, what should we put on a San Antonio Monopoly board? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those ideas during the show. All right. That is always a fun game to do. And we thought we'd come up with another one. Since you are at home today, we want to do one. And you can do this with friends and coworkers if you're doing all those Zoom meetings, which can get kind of boring after a while. But um, yeah, when you're on a video call, something kind of fun to do. Yes. The first game we are playing is called Read My Lips. It's inspired by those awkward moments you have during Skype or Zoom <laughs> kind of calls where suddenly it's, you know, there's technical difficulties or somebody's microphone is muted by accident and you're left kind of trying to figure out what exactly uh, they're saying. So 
this turns it into a deliberate challenge and you get uh, just, you know, we'll just do one guess each, right? To see if we can decipher the phrase. All right, right. Mike, you go first. Okay, I'm going to mouth the words, ready? Have you seen these, the hem on these pants? I did them myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other thing you never like for me to say is, do you want to go over scripts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, your turn. Okay. All right, ready? Here it is. Hey, do you have my phone number? <laughs> no. 10 4, good buddy. We're on a convoy. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers the old Mike song? Text I just texted me, her y'all. that. The always, other day. always, when, in a reply. It's just that. Standard okay. text for her. <laughs> one, more, one more for me. Okay, ready? Do these jeans make my hair look whiter? No, it reminds me of college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's yours? <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Mike is the most wonderful person I know. Hello. <laughs> Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just going after my heart today, aren't you? Here, so okay, that's a fun one. We have got another one as <laughs> we've got another one as well, and this is called Five Things. Another way to test your coworkers' ability to think quickly under pressure. One person comes up the category, nominates the other person, name five things in that category in five seconds. Okay, are you oh, ready? So fast. Wait, who goes first? Right, okay, what? I'm gonna pick a category for you. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Uh, number one, kinds of snakes. Kinds of snakes? Five mm -hmm. kinds of snakes. Rattlesnake, garter snake, uh, king snake, rat snake, and cobra. Well Thanks for picking a category that I love so much. Okay, <laughs> how about, for you, okay. Fiona, name five James Bond movies. Uh, uh, Golden Eye, um, uh, 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 oh my god! Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, how about, uh, the pressure, Mike? I can't do it. The pressure. The first five, Doctor No, uh, we've got uh, a commercial uh, with uh, Love, the uh, uh, Goldfinger, <laughs> Man with the Golden Gun, all those. Okay, here's another one. How about name five characters from It's a Wonderful Life? Me again? But me again? I thought it was my turn. Oh, five characters from It's a Wonderful Life. Um, George, um, uh, oh, and I don't know. Mary, Mr. Potter, Zuzu, Bert, Ernie. Okay, I, I took cuts, I'm sorry. Yes, you did. Okay, the next one is uh, give me five things on your dream charcuterie board. Uh, oh gosh, uh, salami, pastrami, uh, Swiss cheddar, gouda, uh, goat cheese, grapes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I lost count somewhere there, but you got it. <laughs> okay. okay, do we have time for another one? Sure, how about Fiona, name five okay, colleagues. I'm going again. I'm going again. Okay, you're give going again. Five, give me five useless facts that you think we care about. Uh, let's see. A um, The Berry Center is the balance point between two objects. An amphidromic point is an area in the ocean where there is no uh, discernible uh, elevate change in tide. Um, what else? Uh, oh, gosh. Let's see. Um, there are nine, eight planets in the solar system. Um, and uh, Fiona is the most wonderful person. That's not a useless fact, so that's a wonderful fact. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Fun well games done. to play, and right now, after that, once you have done all your Zoom calls, you want to head outside. So, Fiona, through the magic of television, you go head outside, and we're going to be going out there right now because you got to check out your patio, and you know because it is again one of those other uh, room in the house basically, and it's time to kind of spruce it up for spring. And again, how did you get out there so fast, Fiona? 
It's you amazing. Were- you, Isn't you it? Moved very, very quickly. <laughs> so Valerie Reynolds with Chica Verde is uh, joining us today. Good hello, afternoon. Hello. Oh, Fiona, you're missing it out because, you know, usually we don't have chairs out here in the patio and now we can just kind of kick back. So what's the key to Look having the perfect setup. patio? I think it starts, you get a plant first and then you get a wind chime and then you just feel your way through it. Um, you want to have a great mix of things that make you comfortable but you want it to look cool because you've been sitting inside all day and you want to have everything ready to go, you must have a bar cart for sure. How about that, Fiona? Got to have a bar cart. Yes. Absolutely. I have three. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we, we would have bought, brought more, but, you know, yeah. time and, and all. Now, what about <laughs> buying furniture? Because a lot of people think, okay, I've got to go to uh, the home center store and buy a whole patio set. That's very generic. I'm not knocking anybody who does it, but it's great to go out and find things that just call to you, like the pair of chairs that we're sitting in. These are like 1950s. They've been painted a million times, which makes them sturdier. (laughs) We also have other, you can also find other things too. I mean, just, it depends on your aesthetic and and your vibe. You know, that's what everyone says. Over here, we've got like a really, a a cool boho seating area with a cool wicker table. Um, it's functional. You set your drink on it, you relax, you can do work outside with your laptop. It's good. Blankets for when it's colder outside, you never know. It's San Antonio. Next week, we could get snow again. It's a, it's a thing, you know? Let's hope not. Right, no snow. And is it easy to find good pieces in San Antonio? I will tell you, San Antonio is amazing for it. It has been harder lately because more people are outside. And so, yeah, it's kind of like, um, it's like Mad Max out there. You know, going to flea markets and estate sales, people grab this stuff up and they're selling a lot of it because we're outside more. But when you find it, you got to get it because someone else is going to snatch it up. And what about the mix and match of styles? Because a lot of people think that everything has to be matchy-matchy. What we did here is we put together older chairs with a newer side table. We've done that with all the settings just because it is hard to find a perfect little set, you know? Um, and I just think it gives it more character and it, it makes it easier to pull things together because you're not just going with a matchy-matchy vibe. So taking something from the 50s and something that was like a uh, vintage Target circa 1990, it works. It's comfortable. So if you have your patio kind of already set up, what are some easy ways and small pieces that, that you can kind of spruce it up with? Bring out your watering can. Take some cocktail glasses outside. Uh, plants. Do plants with great character. Find vintage planters and, uh, again, Buddhas. A Buddha head totally makes you feel zen when you're out on your patio. Put some spray paint on it. It's cheap, it's easy. You can do a clear coat uh, spray on it to keep you know, the weather from getting to it. Throw wind chimes outside. It just gives everything a little more character. Lanterns are always good, candles works really well. Now we're sitting obviously in these great 50s chairs with pillows. Uh, you gotta find, if you're gonna have pillows or something, they have to be basically outdoor stuff sure. so they can take the weather, right? Yep. You've got to make sure that they can, and not everything is for outdoor. you got to read the labels carefully because what will happen is, you know, they, they get faded through the sun. Okay. So now, yeah. either take them in or get a patio box, right? Patio box is a great idea. It works. That's an amazing idea. You can put blankets, pillows, anything that's going to get mildew or get, you know, affected by the, the rough weather we have here sometimes. So what is... Uh, as far as shopping, you have things at your place too, right? We have tons of stuff. And if you don't find what you're looking for when you come to our spot, we'll tell you where we've seen great things or give you other suggestions. I, we're all about supporting local businesses. We also absolutely love that you all are doing this and showcasing uh, local businesses. It's huge for us. It's a big deal. And so, yeah, we, we always let people know where we like to go shop, where some of our secret finds are. We don't tell you all this stuff because we got to keep some for ourselves, but we share a little bit. We're not afraid. I was say, looking at all those pictures, I mean, you have incredible stuff there. We do have some good stuff. Uh, I'd say probably 80% of it is thrifted or estate sales, flea markets, that sort of thing. 
Because, you know, in the summertime, I know a lot of you have to have a lot of shade, but even though temperatures get so hot, like you said, we do spend so much time on our patios, especially in the evening when it cools down just a little bit. Any neighborhood you cruise through in San Antonio, you're going to find people. It doesn't matter what time of year they're outside enjoying themselves, whether they're using a fire pit and blankets or whether their shirt is off and they're sitting out in their lounge chairs. Like, it, everyone loves it outside here. Fantastic idea. And again, just to kind of kick back and relax. So for more information on Chica Verde, just head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so very much. Great information. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you all. Oh, most certainly. We thank you for coming here. Later on in the show, share a new list of birthday freebies. You just have to choose which one to use first. And next, it's a Thursday Thursday with an unexpected St. Patrick's Day twist. the Irish St. Patty's Day. I have to break into my Irish brogue here. It's coming up very shortly. And if you're celebrating from home this year, we have a few Irish themed cocktails for you to try. Nick Spink from Artisan Distillery is going to bring us a little bit of luck of the Irish. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Okay. What are we drinking for St. Patty's Day? We're drinking a, a couple of different drinks. One uh, vodka, two whiskey drinks, and a uh, poison nice and dark beer. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Some of the names here with the Wicked Leprechaun, the Frozen Shamrock, and the Dublin Apple and Irish Bach. Okay, uh, let's go with the Wicked Leprechaun starting off. So, really easy to make. These are nice, fun things to make at home. Whatever. So, it is actually just uh, one ounce of vodka, a little splash of seven, uh, some Curacao. Now this one isn't green, uh, but it's a lot of fun. Four ounces of orange juice. And on this, be careful because I did put seven up in there. So it might spit up on you a little bit. You don't put too much seven up quite yet. And it does turn green. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah. <laughs> really nice, really fun. And you can just make that at home. But yeah, how did that turn green? <laughs> so, Blue and orange. Oh, uh, well, okay. Makes sense. All right, what's next? The next one here we have, excuse me, um, we're doing the frozen leprechaun, or frozen shamrock, excuse me. This one's real easy. I take uh, just ice cream, melt it down, or you can do sherbet. Pour about four or five ounces in there. And this is where the adult part comes in. A great whiskey, my whiskey that I'm using today is Bear Ridge, it's a six month old uh, bourbon that I make right in house. And I do about two or three ounces of that. Mix it up. Now this one's already green. It's really nice, really refreshing. Um, I'm using lime sherbet today. And it's a great combination between the two. Lime sherbet and whiskey, that sounds interesting. A lime sherbet whiskey. Ooh, okay. What we're making is uh, another whiskey drink. Again, we're using my bare ribs. This is nice and light. A lot of these, you don't want to use a lot of heavy whiskeys because it overpowers what you're making it with. So this is, I take green apples. So smash them up a little bit. Or muddle them, as some people put. And then I put um, apple pucker with it. A little bit of ice in this. And I shake it up. Now, all these are creative drinks that we uh, make. We make a lot of others here at Artisan, and we just moved locations. So I was going to say, I love the new uh, the new digs you got going on there, because you just moved around the block, basically, from where you were, right? Yeah, just two blocks from my last location. But it's a lot bigger. Uh, we have live entertainment now. We have um, Lindsay Andrews uh, performing Saturday and Friday nights at 11. And we once a month, we're having a comedy night and stuff. So we have special comedians come in, and we're also looking for other entertainment. We have two great stages that are eight by 16 stages, one inside and one outside. Now so, you are open, and, and you also have food at your place, right? We also have food. We have a great um, uh, Jamaican food truck. There's a permanent location. Actually, she's here evenings throughout the week, and we are open Thursday through Sunday. We're actually opening Sunday to be 10 now. So you can have Sunday, Sunday. We have great weather right now. And what's the address? 402 Austin Street.
All so, right. Well, if you'd like more information on Artisan Distillery and some of those fantastic Irish cocktails there, just head on over to salive.com as seen on SA Live tab. Here's to the luck of the Irish to you, sir. Cheers. Still ahead, tender brisket and barbecue are coming right off the plane for the special Texas Eats Food Stop. And next, how you can crack open a bottle of your favorite booze and create an artistic masterpiece at the same time. Welcome back to SA Live, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have spring break plans or maybe date night plans, this next segment is just for you. Melissa Sutherland, franchise owner of Painting with a Twist, is joining us now and a familiar face because she has been on the show a couple of times. And, yes. you know, Fiona is an accomplished artist. Oh, really? That's great to know. We need we need help. <laughs> make it stuff up. <laughs> We just make stuff up. Okay, so this is where, now I don't know how artistic you are, Fiona. I really am not, but you don't have to be, right? Correct, no experience necessary, but if you like to drink, that helps with the encouragement. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. I'm already on it, I heard. We're already it. on it. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> what? <in> the studio. <laughs> All right, so you have already started this picture and it's hydrangeas, right? right. So why hydrangeas? Because it's springtime, it's, it's time for blooming. We're coming out of winter, so let's think about spring, let's think about Mother's Day, let's think about sunshine and flowers. And when somebody comes to your studio though, I'm just gonna kind of fill it in a little bit, right? No, we're gonna start you off with a blank canvas and you can do it, we'll show you how. Oh, but yes. I'm just gonna kind of fill this in a little bit. You're gonna finish it up, that's right. All right, so what, what do I do here? All right, take a little bit of the lavender color and uh -huh. a little bit of white and just make some highlights on your hydrangea. So just kind of like, and is there a right or a wrong when you're doing this? No, no, there's no wrong way to do it. Everything you do is right when it's art. Let me see, except for that. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're okay. <laughs> and she's a comedian. And while, you're, while you're working on that, I'm just gonna, I poured a little bit of vodka, of course, in here. All right, yes. I'm starting that, I got some ice. While you're creating that, I'm creating this. Very good. <laughs> well, and that's the whole thing too. This is, you come to one of the classes and it's BYOB, right? Correct. You can bring whatever you want. You can bring wine, beer, coffee, Kool-Aid. We don't judge, unless you drink your paint water. <laughs> it's non-toxic, but it doesn't taste very well. And you said this is uh, great for not only couples, but families, uh, parties. Mm -hmm. Yes, team builders. Okay. Yeah, bridal parties. Look at Fiona. <laughs> She's ready, she knows. <laughs> she is an artiste when it comes to shaking up the, the cocktail over there. Um, you also have, and I remember, um, what was it, a year, year and a half ago, something like that, did a story with my wife, right? and we painted the picture together. She yes. did one half, I did the other half. Yes. You still have those? Yes, we had the Twisted Home Kits. And so that comes with everything that you get at the studio. You get a canvas, you get paints, you even get written instructions, and sometimes you even get a video access to it. Too. So everything you need, to make your own painting at home. Okay. So how far in advance do you have to make an appointment to uh, come there for one of the, for painting? The sooner the better. That way you know you have your spots ready and you can look forward to your day. <laughs> look at that one with the umbrella. <laughs> okay, you're showing off yours. Fiona, what do you, what do you think? Look at mine. Oh. How, how's it look? You like you like that? I'm gonna show you. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. <laughs> See, I added a little bit of the lavender and a little bit of the, uh, you know, kind of a uh, fuchsia in there. Um, I'd like to um, suggest don't quit your day job, but this is very good, you did a good job. <laughs> Again, uh, you can learn some uh, good jokes while you're, <laughs> you're there. Good, bad, whatever. <laughs> well, how can folks get a hold of you and where are you located? Um, we're located in Artisan's Alley on Bitters Road and you can go to San Antonio at paintingwithatwist.com for our email address or just go to paintingwithatwist.com slash San Antonio and you'll find our website. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up, especially next week with spring break. Hey Fiona, if I put this on auction, how much do you think I'd get for it? Oh, I think people would bid on that. That's an original Osterhagen. I mean, absolutely. Let's start the bidding at $50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get, you I'll, get I'll, go with, I'll go with that. So. Definitely bid on 
<laughs> you continue with the cocktail, we'll continue with the painting, and if you would like more information about painting with the twist and your uh, hours are, by the way? We are usually there every evening, Monday through Saturday, but we do have daytime classes as well. But call us, we're great, we're adding classes all the time. And by the way, you can also learn how to paint a picture of your dog. Send in a That's picture, right. they're gonna draw an outline, and you can do a uh, paint your pet. over. Paint, paint your, your pet. pet. That's oh. right. Okay, well if you'd like more information on painting with a twist, just head on over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Melissa, thank you thank very you. much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Fiona. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Up next, grab a big bib because Texas Eats is serving up some great Texas barbecue. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Tender brisket and barbecue right off the flames from one of America's top nine up and coming pit masters according to Thrill List. Pinkerton's Barbecue has a new location right here in San Antonio and David Elder has new footage for you to kind of sink your teeth into. Check it out. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in downtown San Antonio to go inside the newest barbecue joint in the Alamo City. Let's go inside Pinkerton's Barbecue. Joining me now is Grant Pinkerton. He's the owner and pit master out here at Pinkerton's Barbecue. This is the new location here in San Antonio, but this is not your first rodeo. I mean, you've been doing this for a hot second there in Houston. Yeah. So talk to me about why barbecue is important to you. Well, one of the reasons why I love barbecue so much is it's a great way to bring people together. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, we do all communal style seating here normally, and we believe that um, anybody can come together and agree on some stuff over a good tray of barbecue. There you go. And I wouldn't say this is good. This is great. <laughs> just the way it smells in here. You got the, the pits off to the side, so the smoke is just outside. It's kind of creeping around. That's why there's a huge line outside. It's just attracting everybody. But, I mean, you've been through a lot. Uh, a lot of restaurants have, especially in 2020. But uh, you've come out of it. We, we survived the crazy snowstorm uh, right. of 2021. And you're here. You're doing it. But before all this even happened, uh, what was the first thing you, you barbecued? What's the first thing you smoked? and were you really excited when you did it? Did you know that's something you wanted to do? Yeah, so one of the first things I smoked, I asked my dad for a barbecue grill when I was 12 years old, and the first piece of meat I smoked on there was a brisket. And I always tell people, I said, the first one turned out great and the next 50 turned out terrible. <laughs> you know, because you got the first one and so I was hooked and then after that I decided to start tweaking things and inevitably messed it up and then finally went back to just keeping it simple, salt, pepper, and great beef. That's the bite right here. Wow. So much love and attention is put into every single item that's out here on the menu. The briskets, the ribs, the dino beef ribs, I mean everything. The sausages are their own recipes that are made off location, but the briskets, Creekstone, it's a really high quality meat, Black Angus prime meat, and it's all put on there, salt pepper blend, and he's using his own little blend too, like a little bit of different kinds of pepper, different kinds of salt, so it makes it really unique. And it's just such a quintessential Texas barbecue flavor, but they're just doing something that much better that you won't find anywhere else. The chicken wings, the pork ribs, the brisket, everything's on point, but this is the big daddy right here. Oh yeah. This is the one that people will drive miles and miles for. They want to come find the big old dino beef rib. Right. What's going on here? How you doing it? Uh, it? Oh my gosh. It looks like it's ready to fall off the bone. It's ready to go. So this is another Creekstone product that we cook here. These are the giant beef ribs. We have them every day. And uh, one of my personal favorites, I always say it's like, it's the, the barbecue side dish because when you come with four guys, you can all, you can buy one, you can all split it. I'm gonna give it a bite. Honey. What was it like when you saw that you were mentioned as one of the best barbecue joints in Texas? Uh, you know, it's hard to make grown men cry, but I don't know if I was a grown man yet, <laughs> but I definitely shed some tears. You know, that was a really great moment in my life because it kind of justified the hard work that I had put in um, with the recognition. You know, I lived above the restaurant in Houston for three years. It's a 24-hour deal for me, and to, to see your name in the paper like that, it was, it was a really special moment. The side 
items make the barbecue joint. It's the cheesy jalapeno rice, the mac and cheese, has a little bit of rosemary in it, which is really good as well. You could also add brisket or pork, whatever you want on there. And then you can also get the potato salad. Just a really standard, delicious potato salad. One of the coolest things when you come out to Pinkerton's Barbecue here in San Antonio, even the Houston location, is they're gonna have an extensive whiskey and bourbon collection. So, I mean, just check this out. A Couple of these bottles that are out here are a thousand, close to $2,000 a bottle, but there's also some that are more approachable as well. So it's a whole array of liquor that you can get when you're out here. But when you're all done eating and you have a little bit more room, you jump into dessert. You have that's to. What we, that's what we got right here. What's going on with this? All right, so this is our smoked bread pudding. Uh, this is a, my favorite dessert. I mean, it is crazy. It's got a blueberry reduction on it. It's got smoked cream cheese. Damn. Let it rip. That's the bite right there. I said it's like a piece, it's like a, a piece of amazing French toast. <laughs> Just walk off right now. <laughs> Take it all of it with me. This is wild. It almost has like a an angel food cake kind of vibe to it. It's just so soft and delicate. Very moist. Very moist. And then that cream cheese on top, the icing that's on there. I mean, this is dangerous, man. It is. I'll tell you what, Graham. Um, your barbecue is phenomenal. Thank There's you. a reason why you get so many awards doing what you're doing. The sausage to the dino beef ribs, the brisket. I mean, you can't go wrong. Even the chicken wings are a little different, but they're going to blow your mind. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thanks for coming out. You guys, Pinkerton's Barbecue. It's open. Ironically, it's over here uh, when you exit Houston. <laughs> yeah. And you know, from Houston, there you go. Uh, but this is the place to come to. This is the new spot to try. Uh, downtown now has just a really amazing barbecue joint that we can be really proud of out here in San Antonio. I think this is great, man. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks for coming by. Up next, who says you can't get a free lunch? Money savers for your birthday month. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, March has just begun, and we want to give everybody a chance to get something free or discounted for your birthday. You know, last year we did uh, freebie segments, and they were so well received. We thought, hey, what the heck, let's do it again. So here's a few things that you can get for your birthday. Take a trip to Italy without having to leave San Antonio. Maggiano's Little Italy offers coupons to save money on your meal when you sign up for their e-club. May not be a full free meal, but hey, every dime and dollar saved makes your birthday special. It's a great way to entertain the family for a few hours. If you join Alamo Draft House Victory Program, you can receive a free movie ticket on your birthday. And depending on your Victory Program rank, you may receive up to two free movie tickets. Alamo Draft House is a Texas original business and, of course, has updated its procedures to meet CDC guidelines for COVID. Save money on your next sushi craving. Kona Grill offers a discount on your meal when you sign up for their email list. You will receive a $15 off coupon on an already inexpensive meal. Join the free CVS Extra Care Beauty Club to receive $3 in CVS Extra Bucks rewards on your birthday. That's free money to spend however you see fit. You can also become a part of the Taco Cabana family by signing up for the MyTC Loyalty Program. Sign up and get a free small quesadilla after your first purchase. Start earning points on purchases and receive a $5 reward for every 75 points earned. $1 equals one point. You can find links to all of these great savings on SALive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab and look for today's story. Hey, next on the show, how you can get a braces consultation just by taking a few selfies. Don't go anywhere. Are you thinking about getting braces for your child or maybe yourself, but you just don't want to leave the safety of your home? Well, Celebrate Dental has you covered and they can give you free estimates and all you have to do is take a couple of selfies. Here to tell us more is Dr. David Ferguson. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing very you. well. Okay, this a couple of selfies, and you can get a free estimate. How does how does this work? Yeah, it's it's one of those good things that's come from COVID. Uh, you know, it makes getting an orthodontic consultation and an estimate even easier than it's ever been. And so we're going to keep this even after COVID because parents, you know, it's hard to miss work. It's hard to get kids out of school. And so if you're just wondering, you hadn't you had a question like, hey, I wonder how long braces would take, or I wonder how much it would cost. You can take a couple selfies with your cell phone, send it into to our website, and it's really easy process. And we can tell you how long it would take for braces and what it would cost. Okay, so eventually to get the braces installed, obviously you have to go into the, the dentist's office. So what are all the safety protocols in place? 
Yeah, the wonderful thing is that the CDC, the American Dental Association, we have some great guidelines for how to make sure that patients are safe when they come into the office. So here at the dental office, uh, it's it's the same as what you would experience if you're going to the hospital. In between every patient, everything is sterilized and, and so it's very, very safe. You were talking about how you know parents might have to take off work or something like that, but you have got very convenient hours in lots of locations, right? Yeah, that's the big thing. I myself have seven kids and my wife is always telling me that we've got to do something to make it more convenient for busy parents uh, to bring their kids for braces or for dentistry. And so that's what we've done. We have six convenient locations around town. Pretty much anywhere you are in the city, you can find one of our offices. And we're always open in the evenings and on Saturdays as well. All right. The next big question is, what about insurance? Yeah, that's a really easy question to answer because we take all insurances. So any insurance, any PPO insurance that somebody has, uh, if we haven't heard of that type of insurance, we'll, we'll get on the list. But essentially, uh, not only do we accept them, but we are in-network providers for them. All right, we'll go for the icing on the cake right now. What about any specials you're offering right now? Sure. I mean, everybody's looking for a break during COVID, including myself. So right now, uh, you can go to MySmileSelfie.com and register. And if you, uh, when you come into the office, if you just mentioned that you saw this interview, you can get started with braces for $99, no down payment, no credit check. It's as easy as that. Uh, just mention this ad and for $99, you can walk out of our office with a brand new set of braces. Well, once again, as David just mentioned, submit your selfies now at my, my, MySmileSelfie.com for your free braces estimate. Celebrate Dental and Braces is also doing no credit checks, no down payment, and monthly payments as low as 99 bucks. For more information, give them a call at 210-201-1696. Dr. Ferguson, good chatting with you. Good chatting with you. Thanks so much. Well, on SA Live, whether you like sweet or sour, tangy or chocolatey, all of the above for me, where you can get your perfect spring break treat. Plus, it's one of the newest staycation spots in town. We get a taste of the dishes and drinks coming out of the brand new Riverwalk hot spot. That and a whole lot more, 1 p.m. on SA Live. Kind of glitching. All right. Hey, Monopoly, San Antonio style. What would you have? Bear County as the jail. <laughs> this is fantastic. And let's see, what else do we have? Is it going to change? It may not. Well, we were talking about, oh, there we go. Uh, Rainbow Crosswalk. Okay. Crosswalk. Alamo, Nightmare on Grayson, Lulu's, Me Tierra, the Pearl, North Star Mall. Uh, La Cantera, Rodeo, King William District, HEB, all of the above. <laughs> uh, then Sierra says, Whataburger! <laughs> of course. Definitely Whataburger, two for that. Emerson says, Oyster Bay, Fiesta, Nyosa, Cinco de Mayo, the MLK uh, Boulevard, Battle of Flowers Parade. Oh my gosh, yes, all of the above. Market Square, of course. And you got to have now the big SA Live logo with, with Market Square as well. Richard has ghost tracks. You know what? I don't think we're hurting for any, uh, any sort of things to fill ideas. up a, a Monopoly board. And also, by the way, Fiona, look at what is decorating our, uh, our set now. Can you see that? 